Hey everyone, so today we're taking a look at this compact tripod by Sandmark. This is the Sandmark Compact Tripod right here. Uh, it's pretty small. Uh, it's about the size of a, of a water bottle uh, in, in diameter and also in height. Um, opening it is pretty easy. Basically, you extend the legs like this. Uh, so there is a little uh, clip, I think, or push thing that you push down and then the tripod is open. Now, this is its lowest position. Uh, you can make it a little bit higher. Again, you raise this clip like this and then you lower your leg, push it down, and then it will lock into the lower position. And then it will stand roughly like this. So right now it's in its kind of tallest position uh, in terms of the, the head bit here. You can loosen it here and then it will go a bit lower like that. So looking at the box, you might think, oh, this is quite a small tripod, doesn't get very tall. That's not true. It actually does extend. So the legs actually extend a bit further. So you can twist this to unlock it and then pull out the legs like this and then you twist it again and then it will lock. So it's kind of a friction based lock along the, uh, the different sections of the leg. Uh, almost like a selfie stick if you've used one of those, it's kind of how it locks. So again, you untwist it here and then you pull it out and then you twist it again and it will lock. The legs can be locked individually. So what does that mean? So each of these sections, you don't have to fully extend it. So you could uh, loosen it up. And then let's say you only want the first section that much. You can twist it here and the leg will stay at this shorter position. So when everything is fully extended, the legs and also the head here is fully extended. This is kind of the height that you're gonna get. I'd say it's roughly about a meter tall. Uh, here is a water bottle. Uh, for comparison, I would say it's roughly maybe three water bottles in height. So not the tallest tripod, but yes, it is a compact tripod. So, you know, don't expect it to get very, very tall. This is also probably the fastest uh, deploying tripod I've ever used. Basically, all you do is you twist this knob at the bottom. It loosens up all the legs. You pull it and you twist it again, and then it's extended. So in the box, apart from the tripod itself, uh, it comes with a phone mount or a phone holder uh, as well. So yes, it will fit your you know standard mobile phones these days. So I have an iPhone here. Uh, I'm gonna try and put it into this mount and yep, is able to fit an iPhone, no problems. So to actually mount things onto this tripod, there is a plate up here uh, and yes, you can put it on a camera. So this tripod will hold, you know, some mirrorless cameras, you know, Sony cameras, Canon and so on, uh, just fine. As long as if you don't want the, the full height of, it, of a full tripod, but also this plate is needed to actually mount the uh, phone mount as well. So there is a screw hole, a thread, thread hole down here. And basically you put this onto the plate and then you tighten it uh, like so. And obviously to fully tighten it, uh, it gives you a little, I guess a, a slot for a coin, for example, you could put it in there and then you can fully tighten this down. Uh, once it's in, we can put it back onto the tripod head like so, and then tighten this knob on the side. This tripod is basically fully featured. Uh, it has a slot on the side here or for this ball head. Uh, you can loosen that up and you can put it into, I guess, portrait mode. So for all your TikTokers out there, you can put your phone into portrait mode to shoot your portrait video. It also has a level mount on the side here. And basically you can put this this way and then you'll be able to see if your tripod is level or not. Uh, the most amazing thing about this tripod that I found was that this ball head or this head up here is actually quite smooth. You could do some pretty good pan shots uh, just using this ball head. It almost feels like a fluid head, but it's not quite a fluid head, but yeah, it's very smooth in the way they've done this. One of the more unexpected features of this tripod that I noticed was that the ball head or the, the head up here, uh, these knobs up here, obviously they're used to, to loosen up, you know, the ball head, for example, and then tighten it to keep it in position. Um, but if you use tripods a lot, you'll notice that sometimes when you close the tripod, sometimes these uh, knobs are in the way and you can't actually close the leg because you know, they're, they're blocking you. Um, so a lot of more professional tripods have a way to decouple this from the actual 
mechanism that tightens. So if, for example, you know, you tighten this all the way and it was in this kind of position and you can't close this leg because it's blocking, you know, the leg from closing, what you can do is you just pull this out and then you can reposition that part there without actually changing the, the tightness of the ball head. So yeah, that was very unexpected. Uh, and it's actually for all the knobs that are on this tripod head. Pretty cool. So yeah, if you're in the market for a small compact tripod, you know, for your phone or for your mirrorless camera, check out Sandmark, not bad, I would say. Uh, everything is well made. Everything is, you know, aluminum in construction. It's metal legs and, and uh, the neck here. And also the phone mount is also a solid block of metal as well. And it has rubber inside to make sure that you don't scratch your phone. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, hope this was useful uh, and thanks for watching.